Hello, Sam Blasco here for the SCM Group and Minimax. Well, they did it again. Italy called and told me they needed a couple of new cabinets for the showroom in Rimini and that I should jump on a plane immediately. I knew this would be a tough, treacherous assignment. The last time I went, it took me months to lose the five pounds they put on me, and this year, they vowed to make it 10 pounds. It may be a cruel world for woodworkers, but I never say no to a challenge or great food. In this video, I will be showcasing some new and exciting machines that are being added to the line for 2018 and 2019. The Nova SIX sliding table saw and the Minimax ME40TR production edge bander. The Nova SIX is a basic and efficient programmable sliding table saw with SEM's ReadyUp 3-axis overhead controller, giving you electronic control over the rip fence, position, saw blade height, and saw blade tilt. What separates this saw from other saws in its class is the double tilting feature. It is the only one that has the ability to both positively and negatively tilt the blade to plus or minus 46 degrees. Until now, if you wanted or needed this feature, you had to spend more than twice the money to get it like with the SCM Levin Chibli SIX, our extreme top end saw. Here you see I have been cutting up my sheet goods on the SIX for the base cabinet and getting into some cross cutting. For the USA, our standard configuration will include the option for digital flip stops on the squaring fence. Nice. Now I am breaking things down for the upper cabinet. When you drop the rip fence into its low position for narrower rips, the control panel compensates for the different geometry.
This thinner sheet will be used for the backs. Another new feature of this machine is its ability to receive a standard dado stack up to three quarters of an inch wide. I just need a quarter inch groove for my backs so I don't need to load any of the inner chippers here. Okay, the cabinet parts are cut, stacked, and ready for their next phase. But while I'm at the table saw, I will cut the countertop to size. For that, I've chosen some nice butcher block material. Here you can see me change the protection hood so that I can angle the blade. I didn't have a major need to tilt the blade for this project, but I wanted to demonstrate it as well as the fact that you can tilt the blade to 46 degrees in both directions. That's right, both east and west. So I decided to form a decorative edge using two opposing bevels. Pretty slick, eh? Now it is time to make some holes. For this I chose the venerable Minimax AD21 line and construction boring machine. It is a single head boring machine with 21 spindles, ideal for small to medium sized craftsmen and professional workshops. It will bore vertically or horizontally with positive stop at 45 degrees. For the USA, it will come standard with a long fence, calibration tools, two pneumatic clamps, and quick change chucks. Here you can see me drilling my adjustable shelf holes. Now I am setting up the machine for construction boring. With the quick change chucks, it is fast and easy to go from 5mm bits to 8mm. Then I dial in my bit height and set the turret stop for depth of bore. Once I've drilled my stretchers, tops, and bottoms, I set up the machine to drill the sides so they match up.
time for some edge banding. The Minimax ME40 TR Bander represents the top of the line for Minimax and is intended to bridge the gap between small limited edge banders and production line machines. It is for small to medium sized shops that need to step up their production speed and capabilities but without breaking the bank. We will bring these into the USA with a dual diamond cutter head pre-milling unit, high frequency motors, radius end cutting, edge and glue scrapers, a buffing unit, and the kit for loading wood strips up to 5 mm. We will also supply it with the interchangeable glue pot option plus a spare glue pot, which you can see me demonstrating a changeover here. Pretty cool. This machine will handle up to 3mm tape, but in this case we are using 2mm tape, so we're setting the fence for that. At the control panel, choosing the stations that I want on, and go! This is the first Minimax Edge Bander with a track feed system, so we can really speed things up. Here you can see a close-up of the pre-mill cutters doing their job. I had originally thought I would put a nice wood edge on some melamine for the countertop. That was until I got there and saw that piece of butcher block. So even though I don't need to do this for these cabinets any longer, I thought it would be nice to show you the wood strip feeding feature, as well as showing you how easy it is to set things up for 5mm thickness and removing the buffing and scraping stations from the equation. Time to start gluing things together, adding hardware, and installing everything.
some oil to make the wood speak. Beautiful. And voila, another successful job using fantastic machines. Thank you for watching. Time to head back to the States and try to lose those extra pounds they put on me. Ciao.